When we are dividing by a fraction, why can we change the division to multiplication and swap the second fraction around? I used this method in the previous video, but in this video, I want to tell you the reasoning behind why we can do it. In mathematics, everything has a reason. We don't just do it. It doesn't just work. It's not magic. Everything has a reason behind it. So in this video, I'm going to show you why we can do this. So hello everyone and welcome to Mathematics with Marlene and let's jump right into today's video. So let's start with this example. 1 over 3 divided by 2 over 5. Now I want you to bear with me because in the beginning it may seem very difficult and very complicated but I promise you I will do this step by step and I believe you'll be able to follow and understand at the end. So first off we can write the 1 over 3 divided by 2 over 5 as a bigger fraction. So 1 third over 2 fifths. Now I know that this part looks complicated. Now this fraction is called a complex fraction. So when there's a fraction in the numerator or a fraction in the denominator or both, we call it a complex fraction. The first thing we want to do is we want to make this easier. So we want to get rid of that 2 over 5 and we want to make that a 1. But we can't just scratch it out and make it a 1. There's a process we need to follow. But first, why do we want it to be a 1? Let's have a look at the notes. When I have 5 over 1, the answer is going to be 5. So anything over 1 is itself. If I have 5 apples, I give it to one person, that person is going to have 5 apples. So 5 divided by 1 is 5. So anything divided by 1 is itself. Let's have another example. 7 over 1 is going to be 7. So that's why we want the denominator to be 1, so that we know the numerator is just going to be itself if it's over 1. Okay, now how are we going to get that 1? Now again, let's focus at the notes and let's look at this example. I'm going to take that denominator, 2 over 5, and I'm going to multiply it with its reciprocal. In other words, with exactly the opposite. So I have 2 over 5 times 5 over 2. And why do I want to do that? Let's have a look. So 2 times 5 is 10 over 5 times 2 is also 10. And what do we know when we have exactly the same numerator and denominator? We know that will be equal to 1. 10 divided by 10. If I have 10 apples, I divide it into 10 people. Everyone will have one whole apple. And that's why we multiply it with its reciprocal. Let's go back to the original question. So that 2 over 5 in the denominator, we're going to multiply with 5 over 2. Now let's go back to the notes. Let's say I'm taking a really easy example and I multiply just the denominator by 2 and that will be 1 over 4. Now a half and a quarter is not the same. 1 over 2 is not equal to 1 over 4. Let's visualize this for ourselves. Let's have a rectangle. We divide it into two pieces and we color in one of those pieces. And we have a rectangle, the same rectangle, we divide it into four pieces and we color in one of those pieces. You can see that they are not the same. The blue parts are not the same, the white parts are not the same. So we can't just go and multiply the denominator by anything and not do the same to the numerator. When I multiply the denominator by anything, I need to go and do the same with the numerator. Now let's take this exact example, a half, but we also multiply the numerator by 2. What is that answer? 1 times 2 is 2, over 2 times 2 is 4. Now let's have a look if these two have the same value. The first one is still the same. I divided the rectangle into two pieces. I colored in one of those pieces, but the second fraction has changed. 
We have the same rectangle, we divide it into four pieces, but we color in two of those pieces. Now, can you see that our blue parts in both rectangles and our white parts in both rectangles are the same? So when we multiply the denominator by something, we also need to do the same to the numerator. Then we have equivalent fractions. We have fractions that has the same value. So now let's go back to our original question. So we multiplied the denominator by 5 over 2. So we also need to multiply the numerator by 5 over 2. And now we know in the denominator, we're going to have 2 times 5, that's equal to 10, and 5 times 2, that's equal to 10. And like we said, 10 over 10, when the numerator and the denominator has the same value, it's equal to 1. So the denominator is going to be 1. And now we know anything over 1 is just itself. So we don't have to write over 1 because we know it's just going to be itself. So now we went through all the steps and let's have a look. So now we can see that 1 over 3 divided by 2 over 5 is equal to 1 over 3 times 5 over 2. So you don't have to go through all of these steps every time you divide by a fraction. But now you know why you can just change the division to multiplication and swap the second fraction around. And just like in all my other videos, I have a free worksheet and memo linked in the description box below. Just click on the link, you can go download it there. And if you haven't already and this video helped you, please remember to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. And then I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.